You've heard several times now that actively using the language is the best way to learn, and that's especially true when you come to the question of where to put verbs in a sentence. Rules and grammar are a great starting point. They provide you with the tools to construct a correct sentence in the first place. But when it comes to everyday use, there's no time to think. You have to go on automatic pilot. The grammar has to be internalized, and your language instincts have to take over. When you get to the point where things simply feel right without having to consult books and notes, you know that you've internalized your topic. This is particularly apparent in the case of the drum roll. Remember Mark Twain. What seemed to him utterly exotic and well worth a laugh will soon become second nature to you and hardly raise an eyebrow. It's simply the German way of putting things. But to get to that point, you must have used and spoken many German sentences, have made the occasional mistake, and been set right again. Think about how a toddler learns to walk. Is it by studying human anatomy or being told what to do? No, it's by imitating the adults. By falling down and getting up again, relentlessly, patiently, and quite happily. The worst thing you can do is not to try out your German because you're too afraid of making mistakes. Humans would still crawl around if they'd done that. So let's beat the drum and go for it. Obviously, speaking any German will help you get the word order right. But there are also specific things you can do to develop your language instincts in regard to where to place the verb components in a sentence. Here are a few suggestions. Action reaction. This works best with a friend, be it live or online. One of you makes a simple sentence like, "Ich fahre nach Sydney." The other now throws additional information at you about when and how you go to Sydney. You'll have to respond as quickly as possible by putting that information at the beginning of the sentence and keeping the verb in the second position. So if you get heute thrown at you, you would react by saying heute fahre ich nach Sydney. To practice moving between languages, you could provide the additional information in English. If you're on your own, you can make cards with that information, mix them, and pick one card after the other. If you have someone with you, you can actually throw a ball back and forth, adding words to the sentence. Turn around one. This game involves cards and is simple but very effective. We'll even tell you what to write on the cards, or some of them anyway. First, write each of the following verbs on a separate card. Fußball spielen, to play soccer. Leid tun, to feel sorry for. Wasserski fahren, to go water skiing. Angst haben, to be afraid. Zeit haben, to have time. Karten spielen, to play cards. Schwimmen gehen, to go swimming. Nach Hause gehen, to go home. Hunger haben, to be hungry. Deutsch studieren, to study German. Spazieren gehen, to go for a walk. Tennis spielen, to play tennis. Ski laufen, to go skiing. Durst haben, to be thirsty. Rad fahren, to ride a bike. You can print this page out and cut it up if you don't want to copy the verbs out. But remember that writing things out by hand helps you learn new vocabulary. On the back of each card, you now write one or several elements you could use with the particular verbal expression, without actually writing down the verb frame. In the case of tennis spielen, you could, for example, write on the back of the card, "Ich." Jeden Dienstag, or wir mit unseren Freunden. If you pick the card with tennis spielen, you would then turn it around and form the sentences. Ich spiele jeden Dienstag Tennis. Or wir spielen mit unseren Freunden Tennis. Turn around two. This game follows exactly the same pattern as Turnaround One, except that we're using separable and non-separable verbs. Again, we'll provide you with the verb list. Aufstehen, to get up. Mitbringen, to bring. Beantworten, 
To answer. Abholen. To pick up. Wehtun. To hurt. Verkaufen. To sell. Einkaufen. To shop. Wiederholen. To repeat. Zurückbringen. To bring back. Fernsehen. To watch television. Zurückzahlen. To pay back. Verdienen. To earn. Erklären. To explain. Vorbereiten. To prepare. Übernachten. To spend the night. Erzählen. To tell or recount. Vorbeikommen. To drop in. Mitfahren. To travel with. Gehören. To belong to. Besuchen. To visit. Copy these verbs on cards and then check with our list to see whether you've got your sentences right. Remember, stress, bold, on the first syllable means split. A card example to go with vorbeikommen would be er, jeden Tag, resulting in the sentence er kommt jeden Tag vorbei. Improve your attitude. The title simply refers to the fact that the game involves modal verbs, verbs that express an attitude to another activity. All you have to do is collect sentences and then add an attitude, that is, one of the modal verbs, können, wollen, sollen, müssen, mögen, ich möchte, or dürfen, one that works in the particular context. Just go through your book, pick some simple sentences and write them down. For example, ich kaufe ein Kilo Trauben. After adding an attitude, the sentence now reads, Ich muss ein Kilo Trauben kaufen. So you simply form a verbal frame with Ich muss, the attitude, and the infinitive of the main verb kaufen. Or you could have Ich spiele heute Tennis. You could use the attitude Möchte. Ich möchte heute Tennis spielen. Apply the same simple pattern now to all the sentences you've written down and you will definitely improve your attitude.